Hey everybody, it's uh, a nice sunny morning here at Sparkle Farm and today's project, uh, I hope it goes good because there's going to be some digging involved. Uh, we're going to be putting in a well. So right here where the grass isn't grown and it sank, that's where I dug up two years ago to fix some water lines, a leak that we had over here going to that hydrant right there. But we have another leak right right here. I marked it with two stakes uh, off to the side, but when I turn on the well pump and it builds a pressure, this is where water's bubbling up. Uh, it's, it was hard to really track down uh, only because we were getting so much rain. So we, I finally, when it was dry, I turned it on and this was where it was getting wet and filling up. So this is where I'm gonna start digging. Hopefully this is where it's gonna be. So we gotta go uh, add hydraulic fluid to the backhoe and we're just gonna dig down probably two feet real quick with it uh, just to make short work of it. All right, I'm gonna show you something. When we bought the property, no planes. They rerouted the planes going into Cleveland since we moved in, or bought the property, not since we moved in. And yeah, it's really, it's really weird uh, to have that now, but it's only a few times a day. It's not that bad, but it's just, we weren't expecting that at all. Anyway, back to the well. So we're gonna dig down two feet. I'm gonna hand dig the rest, because I don't want to damage any more than what's already broken. And we also have our electrical running into in the same trench. Uh, and I don't remember where it where it is. And it's the main electrical for the whole house. So I don't want to hit that with the backhoe, but I know it's beyond two feet deep. So let's go get those uh, the backhoe set up. But actually, we're going to cut the grass right in this area with all the little flowers from the weeds. Uh, that We have a ton of bees, which is great. But I'm allergic. I think honey's been eating them. Because, uh, uh, yeah, every now and then you just hear... So let's, I just want to get rid of all the bees in this area. So then... Uh, we have nothing to worry about when it comes to that. All right, let's get to those projects. All right, we're, we got the grass cut. I'm gonna check the fluids. Uh, besides just moving it kind of here or there, since uh, I busted up the hot tub, I haven't used it. So we're gonna check all the fluids and uh, let's get digging. All right, let's go get the key and uh, let's start digging. Sorry if I do this part really quick and the footage isn't great on it. Um, I want to get this done before it really starts leaking hydraulic fluid.
that's my hole. It's probably a little deeper than I wanted to go, but uh, heck, nothing's in there, so uh, so let's call that a win. <sighs> yeah, that would have taken forever to dig by hand. So um, let's get the gloves and shovel out. Let me go get the test probe and uh, we'll see if we're getting close. All right, so this is my uh, just T probe. So I painted it green in the winter uh, to find, because I found some other stuff for a future project and I just left this in there. Uh, it was a little harder to find uh, when uh, the the woods grows it back in. Uh, let's see what if we can find anything. Ho ho ho! Man, I really lucked out. Uh, I found it. I'm right on the edge of it, but I should should be easy enough to dig out. But let me try and show it to you. It's uh, still mud covered. Uh, so I'm going to dig it out and expose everything and I think I have to wait till sparkle comes back so I can fire up the pump to find out exactly where the hole is. So let's do that. But uh, yeah, let me see if I can show it to you. think so with this sun so it's three feet down like dead on the money three feet all right now that I've, I found the water line I'm gonna dig out a foot on either side of it because uh, I don't know where the hole is and I'm just gonna have it cleaned up ready to go uh, I'm gonna get all my pieces parts get the get the pump set up but or the hydrant set up the pumps in the well and uh, when Sparkle comes over, I'll show her how to uh, flick the switch in, in the house to turn it on. And then I'll see right where it's leaking. And we should be able to uh, uh, get this fixed. And if that's the case, this was a nice quick fix. So hopefully uh, hopefully I'm near where uh, the hole is. <laughs> All right, because that'd be great. Uh, and then right behind me is I have a bunch of uh, river rock. And that's what I was going to use to fill up around it and backfill some of this, but I might have to, I'll probably use the Ford to backfill it nicely. All right, uh, let me get to cleaning. All right, I got the hole dug as deep as I want to because I don't know exactly where it is. I know I'm really close to the hole. So when Sparkle gets home, we'll flick the pump on for a second and we'll see uh, what's happening in there. And then, because if I have to move along it, I don't want to dig more than I have to or maybe even uh, puncture it in the wrong spot. So when I dug, uh, east west along it I hit a wet pocket so I really hope that I'm I think I'm almost centered on it so I guess we'll see what uh, it is in uh, like 45 minutes an hour or so all right so uh, sparkles back she gave me a hand uh, with flicking on the well inside the house and uh, apparently I found the uh, city water line that I have running out to the workshop uh, it's not off the well, but with turning it on, I could see where it was leaking from, and it was further north. 
So I jumped on the Bobcat, or not Bobcat, backhoe real quick, and I dug out basically another bucket width. Um, now I can get in there and dig out. Uh, I know we're way outside of the electrical area, I think, and the other city water line. So let's get to digging again. Whew, what a day. All right, let me show you what I think is the culprit. This right here, it looks like a piece of a uh, sidewalk. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to go get a tool. I did not think I would need for this job. Um, all right, off to the workshop we go. All right, this is the tool that I did not think I was gonna have to get out, but it's a uh, mini jackhammer electric it uh i've used that a number of jobs in the past actually remodeling the inside of the house when we had to uh, chop up the floor for to run some new water lines and drain lines it uh it's a little trooper a little back saver uh it's just heavy you know but i guess the worst part about this uh piece of cement in here is i'm pretty sure i did it is you know just think I didn't want to move it at the time, but uh, oops, oh well. Well, we're gonna get it out today. All right, uh, let me hook this up and uh, a jackhammer in we go. I'm gonna find the old gloves. Oh yeah, wire included. Oh. All right, uh, I think I'm almost there, but I gotta take a break. It's uh, it's just about noon now, maybe a little past. And uh, it's cooking in this hole. So uh, let's get some water and sit from the AC for a few minutes. All right, just wanted to uh, give everybody an uh, update. I didn't want to film myself struggling too much. So this hole that started off right here now became that and I'm this far out. Now I have to start vacuuming out the water. Whew, let's get to that. All right, excuse me, honey dog. Come on, honey dog. Hey, honey still wants to play tennis. I hope you can see it. This is my main power coming into the house. This is some other pieces of conduit. And somewhere under here, I still haven't found it yet, is the water line. Whew. Whew. So I just asked Sparkle to turn on the water All right, so it looks like when the water would come up, it looks like the water line somewhere under here now and it would travel and go up over here and about where, right where the camera is, is 
where I have it marked over by the wall over there. We're getting close, but man, is this getting frustrating. I don't think we're going to be putting the hydrant on top of all of our electrical. What do you think? All right, uh, we're cooking out here. So I finally got down underneath that water there is the water line. So I got my coupler and two stainless steel hose clamps. Uh, so let's uh, vacuum out the water again and I'll show you how I'm gonna cut it and uh, hopefully get this in it with uh, minimal issues. Alright, so if you don't have one of these, get get yourself one. Uh, I use this thing for like everything. So there's no real good way to get in there with uh, a pair of hose, hose cutters, like the ratcheting type. So, oh, but my battery's dead. Alright, well let me go get a battery. Alright. So I've got my another battery. Let's make sure it's working. Suck all this water out again. Okay, it just got a little worse. Um, situation is the pipe is actually split, not just like a puncture hole. Uh, so I need to go up and get a, another uh, coupling. Maybe I should clean up a little bit more this time. I'm a, now I'm actually muddy. But I'm stuffing a, a bag in each. So there's still water in the line. Oh. Well, that's irritating, huh? All right, this is turning into a pretty long project here. It's uh, after five, still crazy sunny, uh, but there's actually a shade in the hole, so this is kind of nice. Uh, thank goodness for the backhoe sitting there giving me shade in there. So we're gonna vacuum out the water again, and I got a second one. So I'll show you what needs to happen here. All right, so since pipe was split 
like crack down it, I had to cut more out. So what you do is actually put a little length in there and some more hose clamps. Okay, let's get to it. <laughs> All right, so we got the culprit. So the pipe was actually split. So I put in about an eight inch splice. So I had to put two couplings on either end. Uh, right where my foot is down here. This is all the main electrical running to the house and probably 8-10 inches under that is where the one inch water line is. So it's two couplings and four stainless steel hose clamps. So the plan for tonight is just let it sit like this. I have some uh, uh, sand I'm going to backfill this with, but I'm going to wait till tomorrow. Um, there's no, I'm not going to leave the water on overnight, but I'm going to leave it on for the next couple hours and check on it. But it's uh, just too much going on right here to put a hydrant in. Uh, we'll just save the hydrant I have and we'll put it somewhere else, uh, probably close to wherever we end up in the greenhouses. But. Uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy that that, uh, I don't know, probably like 20 years, 25 years, it's underground and uh, finally cracked. But it's fixed and hopefully we won't have any more problems and now we can start using the well to water our garden. Alright, uh, that's about it. I'm just going to kind of, actually I'm going to leave everything out for the night because uh, if I need it tomorrow it'll be right here but that's over here that's what I pulled out all that uh, cement and that's old old school cement that stuff's uh, hard as can be so always be careful of what you're back filling with uh, you know it almost seems like they used like gravel under there so it's not ideal but we're not going to change it all right well Thanks for dealing with this. Uh, we'll follow up tomorrow. Hey everybody. Uh, end of the next day. So this is where the giant hole was. So all I did was just add sand over my fittings. I checked it a few times. Uh, holding pressure. Nice and dry. It was just groundwater because we're so saturated here at... Uh, I don't know, we're still like five or six inches above where we should be for rainfall for the year so far. So that's uh, so like four feet down is like where you just start finding water just sitting there. So here we are all backfilled but the plan is later this evening to till this because this right here is not level at all. This is higher than the house and we're like 20 feet from the house. So I'm going to rototill this and then kind of back drag it and put it all over here, kind of mound it a little bit because that's going to settle some more and uh, maybe reseed it, maybe not reseed it, I don't know yet, but yeah, what a project. Uh, I'm glad that's fixed. But sorry I didn't tape it, it was uh, crazy hot, it was 92 in the shade with... Uh, like 80 or 83 percent humidity so yeah it was a uh, pretty heavy uh, or pretty high humidity so just want to follow up and let you know that that pro that small project on our big projects done all right thanks everybody uh, thanks all new the new subscribers that are uh, clicking and coming aboard and uh, hopefully we have more good videos that help out somebody thanks